and it's finished. And oh, turn it oh, oh, it hasn't finished. Correction. It's only just started. In terms of dugout drama. Been on a short fuse, really, for much of the game. Oh. And uh, Conte has certainly been uh, red carded. And that will have an implication down the line, touchline bans and all that. And of course, he knows players like Aspilicueta. Red card for Thomas Tuchel as well, though he's still out there. And that will go on his record. Well, you can't say it hasn't been brewing. It was a match played in the first half as if there was only one team in it. In the second half, they couldn't engage more physicality and in terms of football as well. As Chelsea will feel they've lost a couple of points. And Spurs, I think it's only the 14th Premier League point out of 93 on offer here in the Premier League. And winning here in the last two campaigns has been difficult for Chelsea as well and they've let it slip Jamie Carragher yes and 30 year anniversary tomorrow Martin mm. you wouldn't change it one bit what Not a league we've got and bit. that just sums up the Premier League on and off the pitch absolutely fantastic can't take your eyes off it for a minute well 30 years ago this weekend they were both in the Premier League, they've both been ever present in the Premier League. They drew their opening game, not in the same circumstances that they've drawn the opening home game, the anniversary game, if you like. Goodness me, goodness me. Everything we hoped it would be, yes, there'll be those of you saying, well, it got out of hand. But oh, it was it's okay. always been a bit of close. There's a needle in this game. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to see managers getting sent off, but. Seems like that at different times. I had something special to a feisty fixture. We've got a brilliant start to the Premier League. We really have these first two weeks have been absolutely fantastic. Well, two of the top four fitted together in the second round of matches. New faces on both sides in the end, but maybe the same old rivalry. But a bit more than that for Tottenham. They've avoided defeat at Stamford Bridge, and that takes a bit of doing. They've certainly got a point the hard way, the dramatic way, the rough and tumble way, if you like. But they have that point, and it's finished here. Amidst all the drama, the debuts and everything that's gone before, Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspur 2. 30 years of Premier League football, and that is why we love it. Chaotic, bad-tempered, brilliant. Graeme Souness, does what that stir the soul? Yeah, what an advert for our league. Absolutely fantastic. I think what I have to say is the referees are, have been given um, an order of direction this time to let a bit more go in the game. And I think it makes for such a better watch. OK, it led to these two managers getting excited with each other. But I'm sorry, it's the entertainment business. Everybody who's watching that has got an interest in football would have enjoyed that game of football. Chelsea were by, by far the better team and go away angry with themselves, having only got a point. Spurs have got out of jail. <coughs> that was great entertainment. And what a footballing contest, Karen Carney. We thought it was Spurs get way back in it, Chelsea find a way to get ahead again, but then Spurs having the final say. Absolutely. To be fair, you never thought... Except when Richarlison came on, I thought that's when it changed for Spurs. They brought a bit of spice. But the first half, they were too timid and Chelsea dominated. Richarlison came on, it was a game-changer. And then the whole the anti of the atmosphere. And you never ruled Spurs out with those set pieces, the delivery in those last minutes. Kane missed his chance, wasn't really involved, bang, he steps up when you want him to, but what a spectacle for the Premier League. There's some really good performers in blue for Chelsea today. Will they feel that's one that got away, though, Most Graham? definitely. They were the best team. I mean, to be fair, I did that at the start was about five minutes before Harry got the equaliser. I think they had three shots on target, scored with two of them. When you have that much of the ball, you know, they looked a really good team today, Chelsea, without having that real cutting edge. I think we touched on it before. For me, for them to get back in and have a chance to win in this league and, and in the Champions League, I think they still have to get a goal getter, for me, because a lot of the football was excellent today.